Sneaker Addicts, what up, it's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode, hit that thumbs up button right now, show that love for the early look at these upcoming up-tempo mowers that will be releasing on April 1st, and this is not an April Fool's Day joke, these are really coming out, they were fooling with us a little bit last year and they released the grade school colorway of this shoe that has not released since back in the days in Asia only. Yes, only in Asia you were able to get these. But now you will be able to get these in the United States and I think in the UK too. So that's some pretty good news for the up-tempo fans. Now with that said, you know what we got to do? I got to hit you with that close-up look. You've got a decent new buck in red right there. And you have your white swoosh stitched in. Nicey nice. Some red trim. A little bit of perforations also as you can see on that red new buck. And then you have your pan leather lettering. And that is over some white leather with some perforations. And then of course you have your air unit. Your little swoosh over there too. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> And, of course, we'll look at the outsole. I love how you can see the air bubble from the outsole. That was something that, like, a lot of us kids loved back in the days. We thought that was the coolest shit ever. Like, it still is the coolest shit. <laughs> and you got your swoosh right there on the forefoot, as you can see. We'll take a look at the back. You've got your little rope pull. And then you got 1996. You got your red swoosh right there with some black pan leather. Pops real nicey nice. There's a quick look at the medial side of this shoe. I recommend going true to size. If you have a narrow, narrow foot, you may even be able to go down half a size. I do not recommend you going up half a size on these. Unless you have like a foot like Fred Flintstone, stay true to size. <laughs> Bird's eye view on the toe, check it out with your swoosh stitched in nicey nice. You've got your rope laces, red mesh on the tongue also, and then you have these bands, and then you have your swoosh up top with another one of them rubber pulls. Looking at the back of the tongue, you got your tag, and then inside you got your Nike Air branding right there. And there you go with a close-up HD look at these shoes right here. April 1st, retail should be 160 or somewhere around there, depending where you're at. Like as far as, I don't know if the price is more expensive in Canada or in the United States versus, you know, the UK. Prices change everywhere. I hear a lot of people in Canada always complaining to me. Yo, it sucks living here and being into sneakers. And they tell me that it's like way more expensive. So I, that really sucks. And um, I feel for you, Canada. Much love. I actually really love Canada. I've been there before and had a great time. Toronto was awesome when I was out there. And I'm going to hit you with some bonus video. But before I do, I just want to kind of give a kind of give you like haters out there a big fuck you. Like, I just got to say, like, fuck you, you haters out there that were hating on my last video, man. It was a great video. And I was just having a little fun. And you guys are like, and you guys are thumbing down my video and being negative. And it was a really cool video. I talked about a lot of dope stuff in it. But you guys are such hype beasts that you pay attention to the small stupid thing. Instead of the actual content being dope. And I just I think it's amazing how people are so abusive in the comment box. You know, it doesn't really offend me. But you know, one thing that annoys me is when people are using the word faggot or anything that's like anti-gay. I am not gay. I have friends that are gay. And I don't appreciate people using that word in a negative manner. I think that's really fucked up. <laughs> and I think that people need to stop doing that. Like, if something is whack to you, you don't have to say it's gay or you shouldn't call people a faggot. I think that that's really offensive to people that are gay. And I think I have a pretty decent following that is gay so you know shout out to everyone that's gay that watches my channel you know shout out to everyone that watches my channel but i just wanted to put that out there because i was reading the comments on my video my ross ross for less searching for yeezy video i put that in there for fun and people got their butts hurt i mean i got over 
a hundred dislikes on the video and I just feel like that's just so unnecessary the amount of work and time I put in the videos and you're gonna do that is just really foul but what's really really foul is when I'm reading that's gay or faggot and this that and I just wanted to, I always wanted to talk about how it's not cool to use those words in that way and I just did it <laughs> so I hope that, you know, people just chill out on those words. It's really negative. Show some respect, man. Don't speak on the internet what you want to say in someone's face, you know? I think that a lot of you guys that talk shit on the internet would never say none of that in my face because you know there would be a repercussions if you ever said something like that in my face. So um, with that said, let's get back to sneakers, man. I got a bunch of other shoes I want to show you. I got these Kyries that are really dope, these Kyrie 3s. It's got this like gray vibe to them, that anthracite, kind of like a bluish gray vibe too. And um, I really like these. I think they're cool and they got these like hits of like almost like a vault. And I'll show you in just a second. Let's get up close. As you can see, you've got your mesh and your fuse right there. You got dynamic flower on the laces. You got your swoosh, of course. <laughs> you got that spiked circular look on the upper some speckle on the midsole on the outsole you see you've got a tribute to his daughter and mother his branding and then you have the number two behind that on that zoom unit there's a look at like the traction on the forefoot they color it in looks cool it's got like a superman vibe to it there's a quick look at the medial side of the shoe i recommend going true to size as far as the fit definitely and then looking at the toe going up, you got your oval laces, mesh tongue right there, and then you have your logo right there. I like that bright hit, real dope. And there you go with a close-up HD look at these Kyries. They should be releasing in about a week, and I personally really like this colorway. I thought it was a dope one, and I'm able to show you these a little early. So um, I hope you enjoyed this bonus look, and I'm gonna hit you with another bonus look. These right here are the upcoming Silver Surfer foam posits that we'll be releasing this coming weekend. I personally wish that it didn't have this carbon fiber print on the upper, and if it didn't have that, I probably would have loved the shoe a lot more if it had like the matching silver on the swoosh instead of that carbon fiber print. I just feel like it made the shoe look super duper cheap. As we get up close, you can see that print right there. And uh, I just don't like how it looks. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> you got your black nubuck up top with your swoosh stitched in. You got your jeweled swoosh. Now, you see how this is a flat silver? That's what they should have done on the whole entire shoe. Would have been way, way better in my opinion. Some may like that print though. Some may be like, yo, that print is the shit. If it is, let me know. You got your carbon fiber shank. There's a look at your outsole. These do feature zoom air, this shoe, with herringbone hits of traction throughout it on the heel and on the forefoot. Pull strap on the back with foam posit going down. And then you got your swoosh right there. And there's a quick look at the medial side. As far as the fit, I recommend going true to size and breaking the shoe. Unless you have a wide foot or you like the shoe to fit loose, go up half a size. People that go up a full size, I feel like they do not know their true size of their foot and I think you should measure your foot. I don't mean that in a rude way, I mean it real. Like, use one of the metal things and re-measure your foot because your foot actually still grows like until I think you're like 30. So um, definitely check it out. Bird's eye view on the toe, going up, mesh tongue. There's your lace system. And then you got your air logo with your pull strap. And there's a look at your booty with your swoosh on the footbed. And there you go with a close-up HD look at these. Let me know what you think of them, hot or not. I'll have info on all these shoes on release day. I will be tweeting away over on my Twitter, twitter.com forward slash the sneak addict and at DJ Dallas. Plus, I will have information on my blog over at the sneakeraddict.com. You should be going to my blog every single day, the sneakeraddict.com for your sneaker news. It's there to help you out. Go to the blog, the sneakeraddict.com. And let's get back to these up-tempo moors one more time. Let me know what you think of these shoes. You know, I've had people tell me they've wanted these their whole life. Like, you know, they've been always wanting to have these. And then I've had people that tell me, like, these are whack. They're trash. The pan leather looks like crap. Uh, I noticed a lot of the, like, OG sneaker heads, they're, like, more into this versus, like, the Young Bucks. But some of the Young Bucks are liking these, too. They think they're wavy. Let me know your opinion on this shoe. Do you think it's a dope pair of kicks? Do you think it's going to sell out fast? 
Are they going to resell for money? A lot of people have been asking that too. Yo, are they going to resell for money? I don't know. I really don't know much about reselling shoes, but I can't even call it if these are going to sell out or not. Like, I can't call it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments. And once again, for everyone that's put negativity in that last video I put out, saying, oh, I'm unsubscribing to your channel. Yo, you guys never even leave comments on my channel. It's amazing how people wait to, like, put negativity out there. And that shit pissed me off, man. So, you know, if you love what I do, go to that video and watch it because it's a dope video. But then hit the thumbs up button and show love in the comments, man. Because I felt, like, really disrespected. And I also didn't like how they were being disrespectful to community of my following. And I love my following. I love each and every one of my following. And I don't appreciate people disrespecting people. So definitely check out that video. It's the last video I put out. This is the newest video I put out. It's the last video I put out yesterday. I'll put a link somewhere on the screen. Watch that video. Show that love. Hit the thumbs up button, man. I don't like seeing 100 dislikes on my video. That that's really pisses me off too, man. All the hard work. I've been doing YouTube videos for over 8, 9 years. Almost a decade. Show that love and respect. Shout out to Mike Rich. Mike Rich was on his um Instagram earlier today. Instagram Live. He showed a lot of love, man. You know, I really appreciate that. Much love, man. That's special cloth. A lot of these YouTubers are fake, man. That's one of the few that's real right there. Remember that. I'm talking about all these YouTubers, man. You know, there's not many that are real. <laughs> like, real people, man. They all fake. Most of them, 80%, 90% of fake. Just putting that out there. Much love and respect. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you want a real guy who speaks the truth, that gives you good reviews, authentic reviews, and ain't trying to be a culture vulture, trying to make a dollar off you all the time, too. All right? Much love. We out.